so now we're joined with Sam. Sam, uh, tell us what you do here, your title, you, all interested. I mean, behind us we see that there's some uh, kids going through obstacle course. So maybe you could tell us uh, all kinds of part. Yeah. Well, I'm the Therapeutic Recreation Coordinator, coordinator here at our Brooklyn Park Summer Site. Mm -hmm. um, we have Superhero Day today. Yes, I saw it. So that. we just went through an obstacle course. Um, now, when you think of an obstacle course, you kind of just think you're just going through it. Um, yep. But with that, I mean, we're working on social interaction, um, making friends. I don't know if you guys could notice, but all yep. of the, yep. they were all cheering each other on. Um, and obviously the yeah, physical you know, part, I mean, yeah. jumping, um, activities, and yeah, yep. the, we went on the swing. So there's Cause I think, gross you know, motor it, skills. You think about it, people think about, um, what it was a hundred years ago, people, you know, kids with some of these disabilities were kind of hidden away. People, you know, didn't want to, and so this is part of, they should be enjoying just like any other kid. Yes, definitely. And we're working on skills, um, to promote that community integration. We want to be, um, member productive members of society yep. um so learning these social interaction and um peer interaction skills are a big part of that so a lot of our kids are diagnosed with autism um but that's not the only um, diagnosis that our kiddos have um, we have some kids who have down syndrome um, some kids with very rare diagnoses that you've probably never heard yep. of yep um and so it makes it a little tougher, like when you have different, you're trying to match up different challenges. Yeah, and so they're you get, working you, on different skills. Yep, and so trying to get them to work together. And I know the goal of the program is to help people develop socially, emotionally, because if some of these kids are gonna move into group homes, they're gonna get a job, mm -hmm. they're going to work, and so the, I think this is what you're trying to help is where can we find things to do? Yep, we're promoting independence in any way that we um, see that they that's in, there's a need for that. And so as kids are doing like this activity, they're doing an obstacle course, is there like assessments you guys are kind of watching the scene maybe where maybe one child's having, uh, or not kids, some of these people are young adults, uh, maybe having extra trouble with certain things. Does that help you guys kind of figure out how to help them differently or? Yeah, I mean, we're not physical therapists, so we're not necessarily focused just on the, um, the physical yep. part of it, but we, try to um, do anything that we can to help them grow in that area. So you saw that we went through this laser beam. Yep. So we're working on really the coordination of movement um, with that. Yep. And just doing it in a fun way. Yep, yep. No, it looks like it. And so, and these kids are here, they're in the summer, so you get them outside, you get them moving, and then you have inside activities, which you did a thing, a couple things like get the Superman capes ready. So is there anything else that people might want to know about these activities? They're kind of curious. Maybe they have relatives who uh, have kids, or maybe they have kids that have some of these challenges, and they're kind of wondering, what does this help them with? Why yeah. Um, well, we're go out in the community four days a week. Um, so with that, we're working on appropriate um, skills out in the community, yep. whether that be money management. If um, a child or adult brings money for a treat, yep. we're helping them spend that money, but um, letting them be independent in doing yep. that. Um, how to act appropriately um, in the community. You know, when you go yep. to a movie, you need to be quiet. Yep. Yep. Um, no and, cell phones. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And just following directions. Um, yep. A lot of our kids need those simple um, two to three step directions, but we can help them to maybe they start at the summer of needing a two step direction to maybe they can um, go up to like a four step direction at the end of summer. So you can kind of see this as you as some of these uh, people here, you can kind of see that growth. Over yeah, time, it's or so maybe great someone to starts see out the growth. one step and then you can kind of see them kind of improve and you can see that they might have something of a future to get out there and do things. Yeah, definitely. We have different goals for um, each of our participants. Um, our participants are ages 11 to up to our oldest is 26, but okay. we don't have a cutoff. Okay. Um, and you can see that growth, which is so neat to see. Yep. Um, and in a fun way. Yep. So do you work with, I know we've talked a lot about working with parents, families, you know, caregivers, so that when they leave here, you're able to give them kind of feedback on things that they can work on. Because I think you know, no parent become, is an expert. They become an expert through observation and help. And so is that what you guys try to do is here's some things to work on at home yeah, or weekends we, or things like that? Um, try to communicate with families um, and caregivers as much as we possibly can. Um, and with schools, if there's something that um, maybe we see that was working for their um, student, then we'll pass that information on to them or vice versa. If they know their student um, that something works better for them, then they'll tell us so that Absolutely. we can all have a great time here. Perfect. Well, thank you very much.